All right, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for watching the video on YouTube. I uh, just want to give you a little update of what I got going on and what's been going on with Mercy 29. I just got back from India, and for all of you guys who gave uh, financially and just prayerfully, uh, prayed for us, fasted for us. There were people fasting in, uh, in Austin and praying here in D.C. and just all over the United States, and we really appreciate that because the prayers were certainly felt as we've seen. You know, signs, miracles, and wonders. We've seen healings happen. Uh, I just got a report yesterday of a man that we prayed for that was uh, suffering from paralysis. And uh, he could not speak, and he could only move his right hand uh, up to kind of shake hands or something. And uh, I just got a uh, comment yesterday, an email, and uh, they said that the guy's walking now, and he's able to move. And so that was a big uh, big testimony, a big thing to happen. We've seen a couple of deaf ears. Uh, pop open and some hearing uh, be restored and people who were running, unable to speak before were able to able to speak and so God was just healing people and doing miracles and we were there just bringing the kingdom and feeding the poor and uh, we went and fed a group of untouchables that hadn't eaten in three days and I mean that was just so miraculous uh, all by itself to see the gratitude of people and uh, to know and to see that the hungry you know they're relentless when it comes to getting food for themselves and for their families and we just learned a lot we just you know put ourselves in a posture of uh, learning from the poor, learning from the people who we were giving to. And uh, overall, that was just an amazing aspect of the trip. Um, also, one of the things that we did was we worked with uh, children who were being sold into uh, child slavery there. And uh, pretty much what it looks like is, is that uh, whenever a child is anywhere from the ages of 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, it doesn't really matter if their parents cannot afford to feed their family which is the situation in a lot of homes, they will, excuse me, they will actually take um, their children and they'll, um, they'll sell them to wealthy business owners, people who, who own uh, something similar to like a rock quarry or something like that, which is where we went. And they'll sell them oftentimes for about $500. And uh, so we went to this rock quarry, we met four children that we had decided upon saving. And uh, I don't remember all their names, but I do know that um, one, uh, one girl named Anitha, uh, she's around 12, 13 years old, but she didn't know how old she was exactly. She said she didn't know her age. And uh, we just talked to her, and she was just physically abused, sexually abused. I mean, just the worst situation. And then forced to work eight hours a day, uh, one meal. Uh, they get, like, rice, uh, bread, water. It's it's a pretty horrible situation to really see and just to go there and, and you know, touch the people and love on them. And, and uh, just bless them. And so we had decided on uh, removing them from their situation and purchasing them from their bosses, purchasing their freedom. And so when we went back to go do that, uh, we actually had a big situation with the bosses and they're not wanting to release uh, the kids. And we've given them uh, enough money for them, for the children to be released. And uh, the boss is still, will, still unwilling to release them. So if you're watching this, uh, I just ask you to please pray for them. Uh, please pray for those kids that we're trying to help and we're trying to save because uh, they really could use your prayers right now, really could use uh, a moment of your time to just ask the Lord for their freedom and for the release and to move that boss's heart uh, with the compassion and the love of God to see uh, that it is not God's will to have children forced into labor like this. And, uh, I mean, it's going on there, and we're saving four to start off with, but uh, the statistic is that there's about 250 million children that are forced into labor every single day all around the world. And so what Mercy 29 is trying to do is put a dent in that figure and to, uh, you know, just abolish uh, that movement and do everything that we can, whether prayerfully, financially, being there, going there, uh, loving on the kids, paying the debt, whatever it takes, it doesn't matter. We're just going to allow our hearts to be connected uh, to this, to, the, to this, you know, silent genocide that's really going on in the world today that no one is really talking about too much. And so that was in India, and I'm going to be going back there probably uh, in the summer, Africa as well, RC-29 Africa, uh, Mozambique is still uh, rocking and uh, rolling on all cylinders. We have, uh, we just purchased uh, an adjacent lot to our property now at almost an acre 
uh, about an acre, I think, total square foot probably, maybe an acre of uh, property. So we're going to add more kids. We're going to add more families. We're going to start a chicken coop there so that they can become a little bit more self-sufficient by selling the chickens and eating them as well, eating the eggs for breakfast and just whatever they like to do, but really just trying to generate some income into the families that are already living there uh, rather than always have to be uh, dependent on the organization to feed, clothe, and house them because we believe in restoring people their hope and uh, enabling and encouraging their dreams to what they want to do with their lives and uh, giving them the means to make sure that can happen. So uh, I'm headed next Monday to Korea to preach at a conference there in Seoul. It should be a really cool uh, conference, but I'm also going there on a scouting mission to see uh, when we could and what the possibilities of opening up uh, Mercy 29 Korea. So uh, that's, in the, that's in the cards, and um, I mean, that's pretty much what's going on with me right now. And uh, thank you guys so much for, for checking out the uh, YouTube video. Lastly, if you want to get involved, um, you, can, you can get involved. Of course, we need your prayers. We desperately need your prayers. But we also need you to give. Um, we've started a program called Lattes for Legacies. Uh, the program works like this, $3 a week. The price of one uh, latte in your local coffee shop is more than $3, uh, honestly. And so if you can give $3 a week, we're just asking you to give up one latte a week to change the world. If you can give up that, that, that $3 a week, uh, you can feed a child in India for about one to two days on just three dollars. What you would spend at a Starbucks uh, one time in the morning will feed a child for two, two, one to two days in India. So we're asking for twelve dollars a month, three dollars a week, uh, to sow into the lives of these invisible people and to you know restore hope there, give them a future, and feed them, clothe them, house them, send the children to school, and give them medical care whenever it's necessary. So you wouldn't believe how far just twelve bucks a month can go. And I believe that everybody watching this uh, can make a commitment of $12 a month or you know somebody who can you know somebody you can get together with and you guys can say okay we're gonna do six dollars a month a piece I mean it's very possible and that's why we started this program is so that everyone uh, can find themselves in a position to help the needy feed the poor clothe the naked and uh, you know house the homeless that's that's what mercy 29 is all about is enabling everyone to do something uh, about the state of the world's children and just the state of poverty and so God bless you guys for your willingness to help uh, for for watching this video in its entirety considering it's getting long now but I just want to say thank you guys I uh, love you God bless you visit mercy29.org if you get a chance youtube.com backslash mercy29 TV you can check out our videos from India from Africa and uh, thank you so much if you got Facebook join the cause God bless you guys